Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome to XCOM Chimera Squad on Impossible Difficulty Iron Man Mode for what is basically my first run. In the last episode we did a mission 70% well. Only had one person downed and one scar, which is ideal, but it's not too bad. And we now have a new agent, which we need because everyone needs to be healing right now. So we have some interesting choices. We have Godmother, who appears to have a shotgun with a scattershot ability. And Alpha Scribe, which is Agent fires the primary weapon during the breach and will take their turn earlier in the timeline. Agent also gains one bonus action on the first turn. One use per mission. It's pretty good. Blue Blood, who is the one I keep hearing is awesome for his ability to hit and... Uh, you know, he has Dead Eye, which does 50% more damage for an aim penalty. He has Desperado, which standard pistol fire and Dead Eye cost an action and do not automatically end the turn if the agent has actions remaining, which means he can shoot twice. And Lancer Shot, agent fires his Lancer pistol at a target, ignoring all cover bonuses. And then over on the other side, we have Zypher, who has Crippling Blow. Agent punches an enemy and inflicts one of several status effects. The effect is either disarm, disorientate, stun, or root. The attack cannot miss and will trigger momentum. I don't know what momentum is. Uh, fearless advance. Zypher blitzes towards an enemy and melee attacks them after the breach. This will position Zypher near the enemy. If the enemy was alert, the alert breach action is cancelled. Zypher sounds cool. Cypher sounds like a melee person. I'm also apparently only picking aliens at this point. Uh, let's try try Cypher. I, I know blue blood is supposed to be great and all, but let's. I I want to try. I want to try this guy. I want the the fancy abilities, you know. Uh, okay, some people have promotions. So what did you get? He now has battering ram. Must. Burst through a door breach point with a chance to panic nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. Zephyr, you made it. Well, yeah. You grab a locker? Yep. Have everything you need? Yeah. Good talk. No. <laughs> okay. A lot of attitude people here. You're a beat up. What? Oh, we can get you one of two things. Uh, crowd source. Verge gains plus five aim and plus ten critical chance for each enemy in the neural network. Okay, now we're beginning to get things to use the neural network. Or oh, caller, enemies in the neural network that would be killed are rendered unconscious instead. I want collared. I want the intel. That's really cool. What is Euro Scar? Critical chance reduced by 20. Unfortunate. Okay, and you. Let's see. If Turnable takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, they are instead reduced to 1 HP and immediately enter stasis for one turn, one use permission, or Turnable shoots non-damaging suppressor fired at a target to push their turn down the timeline two turns cool down. Ooh. Okay, those both sound really good. Hmm. Controlling who goes next is powerful, but I like not having to worry about the medic going down. Interesting. I'm very conflicted. Shoot non damaging target. I'm going to take this as. I. Mm, okay. I, I made my choice. It is what it is. Okay, Toph, what do we got? Tight squeeze. Upgrades bind to deal more damage. Or, hard target, Turk gains extra mobility on the first turn of every encounter and a permanent bonus to dodge. Huh. Okay, they're doing a good job of making these both really interesting. Uh, the the extra dodge is, seems so strong, but the damage on bind seems so strong. I'm taking the dodge. Not getting hit seems to be the best. Okay. What else do we got rolling? Uh, we have our shield guy healing. 
So that's fine. We can send someone on a spec ops mission now. We'll do it to grab some Illyrium. Who do we want to send? Ooh, that's a hard choice. Axiom's unscawed, so I feel like... You know what? They already have scars. They're going to have to sit out later ones anyway. Let's send Axiom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm not fully sure, but we'll do it. And then we'll give Zypho a try. Okay, we city map. We know Grey Phoenix can quickly move personnel throughout City 31. Once you learn how, we'll know how to wall them off. Makes sense. So we have six days into the next main mission. We can do locate power siphon, which gets us that mission sooner. Minus one unrest in old town districts. Oh, in this district and money. Hmm, what do we want? Solid copy, lots of money, end of the line, 35 Valerium. We do need the Alarium to get a project going in three turns. But the Power Siphon might get us Alarium like the last. I'm thinking this is the mission to do. We have lots of intel. Let's grab one, two, let's grab our next BO team. Let's put one. This one's. Let's put one here. And we're going to grab a finance to get us money. And actually, we're going to come over here and grab a technology one to get us Illyrium. So now we have some reoccurring income every Friday. And that's a good start. We also have four. So we can freeze district unrest increase someplace. So let's do that for Highland Square. It just won't go up this turn. Six turn cooldown, but that's okay. We're, we're we're getting there, and then we're gonna do this. Hostile forces may attempt to guard a mission critical device that needs to be stopped. Destroy the device in Let's question. Let's make items authorized. available. Don't keep your distance if you can. I really want you to have the dodge thing because you're going up front and personal. So who has it? Terminal has it right now. So we'll lose that and give you the dodge ability and the breaching charge. Then we got the flashbang still, the med pack, and another breaching charge. Okay, we'll run with this. Gray Phoenix is siphoning power from this chemical plant. Your job is to stop it at the source. Helping hand, last unit through this entrance will receive an extra action point. All units entering here. So why, why am I thinking about this? We don't have a chance. Verge is first because he has his ability. Uh, we'll go Turk, Terminal, Zyper. Do you just punch people? Okay, I love it. I was expecting a sword like XCOM 2. What do we got? One aggression and one alert. I'm, I'm going to try it. We're going to levitate this aggressive guy out from his cover. And then you are going to shoot him in his face. Not very well. Shoot him in his face. How do you hit these people? They're so far away. I don't know how this works. I'm going to go with you. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, we did kill that guy. Right. That's the siphon. Smash it to pieces. Oh, we have a destroy mission. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Definitely going to throw Battle Madness out there. On that python. Show them how you feel. Not going to lie. That always creeps me out. Yeah, that's... Perfect. 
Interestingly, there's not multiple rounds, so I think this is just one continuous fight. So let's also... Flashbang those two. Outbound flash. Another way to go past. And then you can still shoot. And we're going to shoot at the target. Wait, what? Okay. We are going to move Zypher up on the turn list because apparently he's got to get away from that. And then we're going to shoot this python. What do you do? Subdue or crippling blow? Understand your power, but I don't want to be in there anymore. So come punch this guy. Weapon disabled, Zypher. Zypher, I and you can fall back. Zypher, you and me, we're gonna have some fun. Oh, I. Zypher might be my favorite. That and talk. Wait, do you just get another? To what? What? Oh. Can we just go back and punch this guy? We'll warn him back up. Hey! You're dead now. And then we'll come back here to cover. We'll come back here to better cover. Cypher, you're cool. Cypher, you're just cool. Okay. We're gonna move up a little bit. And we are going to shoot the target. Yeah, so that wouldn't have damaged my teammate. I, I was thinking it would only be once it was finally destroyed, but... Uh, it confused me. Okay, terminal. Can you shoot the objective from here? You can. So let us send a drone out to safeguard... Zypher seems the most likely to get shot at. So let's give him the defense bonus. And then shoot the target. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. you doing? Really? Oof. Support my journey. A lot of new enemies. Okay, first off, let's do some battle madness. You might shoot my people, though. So actually, let's do a stun on you. Perfect. And then we're going to fire at the objective. And destroy it. So now we just got to clean up. Uh, Zypher, would you like to just... Uh, oof. So Viper's next. So I think it would actually be best to hit someone... I was thinking and disable their weapon. Maybe we'll kill. We'll come kill this guy. How much damage do you do? How much damage do you do? Four to five. Oh, so I think you can probably kill that guy. So let's try and kill you. Get him Thank you. He 
and then you get your momentum. So come get some cover. Out of my way. And then you just come subdue this guy by getting behind better cover and punching him in the face. Merge mines, that sounds bad. I don't know what you did. Ow. You're stunned. Okay, you are going to heal yourself. And then take a shot at this legionnaire who has way more health. What are all the chances? 57. Let's try the 57. Perfect. Oh, and unconscious because of uh, Verge's ability, which is awesome. We're going to try and put this guy into a stupor. Connect him to the neural network, which will be good. And then let's see, we'll just shoot at that paladin. Perfect. Zypher, can you kill this paladin? Shattering. Zypher, you are my favorite in so many ways. Wow. Steady pace. Note to self, Cypher is my first choice of characters next time. Okay, if you can just get a tongue on you, this paladin. Here. Hey. Uh, I could probably just knock him out with a punch, but that's just safer. And you know what? This is going so well. Let's not ruin it. Wow, that was... That was really good, I think. That, 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 that felt good. Also, oddly fast. So we got, what do we got? Progress, less unrest, money, intel. No Illyrium, which we were kind of hoping for. But that's okay. I have more background on the insurgents behind the mayor's attack. Just after the war, City 31 reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace. The insurgents belonged to a cell in the Shrike network. That network provided security before 31PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to society. Couldn't stomach protecting the people they fought in the war? Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. Okay, so we're getting there on the investigation. Well, that's good. Today, the city council appointed Councillor Parada as deputy mayor until the upcoming election. I think election. that's what you said yesterday. Councillor Vorthu expressed his displeasure after the session. He opposed the bulk of Mayor Nightingale's policies. A new title won't change that. The deputy mayor responded. This is a trying time for us all. My goal is to keep so the, the deputy mayor is a villain. Mayor. No more Random guess. guess. More as the story develops. We'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Regardless, that's going to be this episode because that's our cycle. So thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.